Welcome to Crypto Classroom, the number one YouTube channel for learning about the latest trends in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. At Crypto Classroom, our main goal is to equip our audience with the knowledge needed to excel in the dynamic and fast-paced cryptocurrency landscape. In today's video, we are going to explain why owning at least 10,000 Harmony One tokens is a smart long-term play. We will be doing a deep dive into how Harmony works, some of its key features, and analyzing tokenomics so we can make a realistic price prediction. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss a thing. Let's get right into it. To clearly understand the idea behind Harmony One, let's consider that Ethereum had been around for years and indeed, its potential had been recognized. Although let's be honest, in its early days, Ethereum still had issues which Harmony One CEO explained on the Cheeky Crypto Podcast that it had some limitations like its speed and performance which gave them the motivation to build a chain that is fast, decentralized, and very secure. It should also be able to scale without much problems being able to serve billions of people using Using many different products. With these, there have been many projects that claim to be all these. Lightning fast, decentralized, and secure. However, most of these claims turned out to be just hot air. However, Harmony One is laser focused on speed that in December 2020, they announced that transactions were being finalized within two seconds at the maximum and finality taking around one second. This is a huge leap compared to most blockchains. Technically, finality means that everyone in the network agrees that your transaction is confirmed and it can longer be undone. Harmony One is able to achieve this by letting validators combine messages across the network which reduces the amount of CPU power needed and increases overall speed. Another feature Harmony One uses is called Block Proposal Pipelining, which is just a fancy way of saying that the networks start validating blocks before other ones are technically finished. Speed is good, faster is better, but it often has trade-offs which can be potential security issues. Keep in mind that the driving principle behind Harmony Harmony One is to solve practical problems by making blockchains more useful so when an unsecure chain is unacceptable for the average user. Harmony One achieves great speeds without compromising on security as it scales through a concept called sharding. Sharding is the key to the features of Harmony One. Basically, sharding is splitting up a blockchain into different shards or pieces which can all run simultaneously, speeding up the chain and reducing congestion. Think of it like expanding a two-lane road into a massive seven-lane highway. More road or capacity for the blockchain info to travel through. As more shards are introduced on the blockchain, more users can be accommodated without affecting the speed and driving up gas prices because of low congestion. It's the classical law of supply and demand. As more people use a blockchain, they will be competing to fill up the blocks which in turn drives up fees higher and this is exactly what's happening on the Ethereum blockchain with some transactions taking up hundreds of dollars. Which makes you wonder why aren't other blockchains using sharding as well? First, Ethereum will do so with the release of its 2.0 update. The bigger issue is while sharding greatly bumps up the speed, just like how 7-lane highway is able to handle more traffic, the downside is that shards can be a security risk. A bad actor could take over a shard and wreak havoc on the entire chain. Say there's 10 shards, it's easier to hijack one-tenth of the network compared to taking over the entire blockchain which could be massive. So how does Harmony One solve this security risk with sharding? They use a slight variation of the proof-of-stake mechanism which other blockchains blockchains use. It's called effective proof of stake, and it's quite clever actually. It ensures that stakers are still reported while preventing them from taking over an entire shard which is doable in a normal proof of stake mechanism. Inequality is another big issue as it makes it easy for those with the most number of certain token to exert their dominance in the network. People who believe in Bitcoin aka Bitcoin maximalists have always criticized proof of stake because of its inequality issue, arguing that proof of work safeguards against centralization in a free market. Here's how it plays out in theory. A user that holds most of the Ethereum coins can actually stake those coins and then basically own the entire network having a say whether certain transactions are accepted or rejected. Again, this is correct in theory. Harmony One solves this problem of stake centralization by modifying reports given to stakers. Another layer of protection is a downtime penalty and bans against bad validators. There's also an incentive for nodes that catch scammers and exploiters. Without drowning you with all technical nitty-gritty 
details, each shard requires 250 nodes to participate. It then uses a randomized sequence of all the nodes on the network so that every time a new block is created, it would have a different set of 250 nodes. Imagine there are 4 shards. This translates to around 1000 nodes. Computers which are helping to produce blocks on the network. For every new block confirmed by a shard, it would have set of 250 randomly selected nodes. Simply put, each node is assigned to a random shard every block, making it very hard for a group of nodes to collide and band together and take over one shard, let alone the entire network. Harmony One introduced a few more clever modifications to ensure their ecosystem is fast, scalable, and secure. Some would say that Harmony One is similar to Polkadot now. The ideas are similar in general, but the two chains work very differently and serve different functions. Polkadot considers itself as a layer zero blockchain allowing people to experiment and provide intuitive ways to create blockchains and blockchain bridges. On the other hand, Harmony One is not really a layer at all. It is more of a hub and because of its goal of making things easier and more usable in the crypto world, they are focused mostly on creating bridges connecting different blockchains. A bridge they created is called the Horizon Bridge which lets users go back and forth easily between Ethereum Finance Smart Chain, even NFTs like ERC721 and ERC1155 tokens. A Polkadot chain on the test network and even a bridge to the Bitcoin network is also in the works as well in the form of an API that will make all of this easier. Lastly, let's dig into the tokenomics of Harmony One. Their ecosystem uses the One token for typical purposes like network fees, staking, even governance and voting on changes in the network. You can stake One and to do so, you need at least 100 tokens. They also to validate or actually becoming part of the network would need 10,000 tokens. Staking entails pointing to someone else who is validating and allowing them to vote for you. This enables you to get a share of the rewards they earn without having to set up a complicated computer or a dedicated internet connection. This is known as delegated proof of stake and Harmony came up with their own version called effective proof of stake. As with many other chains, one is used as payment for transactions and it gets burned through the process. It's interesting to note that Harmony mints a maximum of 441 million tokens per year making their supply somewhat inflationary. Although that's not necessarily the case as long as there is high enough transaction volume, newly minted one coins would simply be burned in fees and not add up to inflation. Now let's talk about price predictions. Harmony currently has a circulating supply of 11.9 billion tokens and a max supply of 13.1 billion tokens. At the time of this recording, the market cap is valued at $1.4 billion giving it a price of 12 cents. Harmony recorded an all-time high of 37 cents on October 26, 2021. Due to an overall bearish market sentiment fueled by economic externalities, the price prediction for Harmony has suffered. However, bearish conditions often present some of the best buying opportunities. Someone investing in Harmony right now would be acquiring at a 68% discount. With that being said, we believe that once the market recovers, we expect Harmony to reach a price 94 cents by 2025. From its current price, that would yield 7 times return. What do you think? Is our price target too conservative? Do you think that Harmony has what it takes to compete with some of its blockchain counterparts? Please feel free to drop a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts. Lastly, please remember that we are not financial advisors at Crypto Classroom and that these videos are for entertainment purposes only and that you should always do your own research before investing in any crypto. If you enjoyed watching this video and value our insight here at Crypto Classroom, please feel free to click on one of the two videos showing on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, click that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you won't miss out on our next videos. See you in the next video. Take care!